Alright guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you the haul of things that Eric and I picked up in our last Goodwill trip. So I did end up, as I stated in my last haul video that I did, I told you guys I'm going to try and have everything listed before I ever share the haul. That way, you know, my stuff isn't just like going into a death pile and the stuff is listed. So. I'm still doing good, knock on wood. Um, everything that I am sharing with you here in this video is actually listed on eBay currently and I do have links to everything down in my description if you want to see exactly what I priced things at because off the top of my head I can't tell you exactly um, what I priced things at um, but I can tell you I should be able to remember if I listed them as um, auctions or buy it now. So the first thing that I have to share is a Yankee candle. This one is in the scent Seaside Holiday. It is a 22 ounce candle. And this I purchased for, where are you? You're on here. Did I not write it down? Yes, I did. Okay, this was $3.99. Um, it's brand new. It's never been burned. It smells really good. I am a candle lover. I hoard candles, but... Um, I was willing to part with this one. I'm pretty sure I put this up as a buy it now price because there were others um, just like it already listed and available. One thing to look out for with Yankee Candles um, is what they call the black band Yankee Candles and that's essentially like when you see this black band ring around the candle jars. That indicates um, Usually that they are um, discontinued fragrances, so harder to find and might potentially be worth a little more than, you know, the Yankee Candle scents that are currently available for sale. So just something to look out for. I do have some other Black Band Yankee Candles for sale. Um, none of them have actually sold yet, but there are some that do sell really, really well and for good money. So just letting you guys know. Uh, next thing I got was this, and I was just naturally drawn to it. It is a kind of like a handled soup bowl, and it has a lid on it. It's vacuum sealed, so like you can't actually take this lid off unless you pop this top. Otherwise, you'll just be pulling and pulling because it is on there tight. Um, anyway, this is by a company called Ciro, and it says it's a microwave me there on the bottom. And it has these Russian dolls all around it. This here was um, $1.99 and some of these actually sell decently. I mean I definitely thought it was worth picking up at $1.99. Um, I'm pretty sure I listed this as a buy it now price as well. I didn't see this particular print so I'm hoping it's a little more desirable just because of how cute it is. Um, but there have been ones that sold around the 20 ish dollar range some slightly higher than that some slightly lower but again I think it depends on um, not only condition but also print as well so I figured I'd pick that up for $1.99 I got this Le Croset Christmas stocking this was still in its wrapper this here was $1.99 I did not realize it at the time there is a little tag here that came undone from its thread so I did not realize that when I'm trying not to get I'm trying not to be like super crinkly with this so it's not so obnoxious anyway I did not realize that this tag on here um the thread had come loose off of I probably still would have purchased it anyway these were selling in the 20 ish dollar range I'm pretty sure I put mine up as a buy it now, I think for slightly less. Um, I think the only one currently listed is at like 30 something and I think I only listed mine at 20 something since mine is new technically, still sealed, but there is an issue with the little tab here. So it could be potentially, um, you know, just re-sewn on or, you know, take it off, that kind of thing. But um, if it doesn't if it doesn't sell or I'm having a hard time selling it, I will probably like come down a lot on the price of that just because, um, you know, I didn't 
realize that there was um, a little bit issue with it before I purchased it. And I even had Eric with me and I call him Eagle Eye Eric because his eyesight is like so much better than mine and I never noticed like chips and stuff like that and he does but I didn't really give it to him to inspect because I thought since it was still sealed everything was okay. But anyway, uh, next thing I got was another Pyrex or Corny Wear Pyrex Visions um, item. I got a casserole kind of style dish at Goodwill um, one of the last times I was there and then I also I found this one so I don't know if they were maybe donated at the same time and it just hadn't gotten out on the floor yet or if they were donated by two different people I don't know but anyway I paid three dollars and 99 cents for this one and these this particular one I think this is a uh, one point four I'm not quite sure I don't remember now um pot the sell like the solds on it aren't like crazy high or anything like that but um I really liked it and you know if someone is looking for that specific uh sized pot then you know I have it listed in my eBay store I purchased this wood inlaid carving piece this is of the um Aztec calendar and I guess that's just a wall hanging, like you could hang it on the wall, but it's just a nice like wooden, um, thick, very detailed uh, piece here. This was uh, $1.99, and sometimes I feel like um, just these wooden pieces in general do sometimes sell. Um, I was at a yard sale, oh, this would have been this past summer, and I had seen something similar to this. It wasn't wooden, but I didn't know like what the symbol meant. And then when I was editing my video, I looked it up and I saw that things just representing this seemed to sell decently. So um, I do think I put this up as a buy it now price. And I think I only listed around like 20-ish dollars. Um, there was some higher than that. And um, I do think the more larger they are and more intricate kind of thing then the better the price will be on it but I thought for $1.99 I would just get that and see how it goes I found another VHS tape um, so I'm starting to look at VHS tapes a little more I randomly saw this again on the um, shelf at Goodwill and I was like you know what, I'm just, I'm going to scan it. There was a barcode there on the side and VHS tapes at Goodwill are 99 cents. And lo and behold, this was selling pretty decently as well. Um, like I said, it was 99 cents and it does feature the voice of Drew Barrymore. It is an older VHS. It's from the 80s. I think it's 1985, 1986 on here. And it's called Star Fairies. I've never watched it before, um, so I'm not exactly sure what it's like kind of thing um but yeah I don't know I just decided to pick that up and see and I did put that as a buy it now as well because there are a couple others listed another wood kind of carved piece I got was this here and this doesn't have any kind of maker's marks on it um so I'm not quite sure you know where it was made or anything like that when I looked it up, I was seeing um, Bali and Indonesia pop up with similar sculptures of this, but I thought it kind of had more of a tribal look. Um, so I, I'm totally unsure about the history <laughs> of this particular piece. She was $2.99. So um, when I did look her up, I did find an Etsy listing that sold of the same one, um, but unfortunately once an, es an, uh, an Etsy listing sells, you can't actually see what price it's sold at, so I don't quite know um, the worth of it, and I can't even think off the top of my head now if I put this as an auction or buy it now. I think I might have done an auction with this one because I couldn't find any that were exactly like it but again I didn't really know exactly what to look up either I just kind of went with what I knew just by looking at it and looking up similar sculptures 
I found one purse. I got this Juicy Couture purse for $3.99. It has this like blinged out um, sequin and red lips look all over it. This bag, I already went through it and it honestly looks like it's new without tags. Like it doesn't even look like it was ever used in my opinion. So this was $3.99. Um, I'm pretty sure I listed this up as an auction because I don't think there were any currently listed. There might have been one, but theirs was brand new and like with tag and mine does not have tag. So I think I put it up as an auction. Anyway, um, Juicy Couture is a brand that used to sell really, really, really well um, years ago. Um, then Kohl's started carrying it and I feel like it kind of lost its um, just overall, not necessarily worth, but kind of worth type of thing. Um, it became a lot more easily accessible, but I do feel like some of it still does have value. Um, it's definitely a brand that I'll no longer just kind of look past anymore because um, I was really surprised when I saw um, completed for this specific purse but I always do say as well just the more obscure type of prints and things like that um, seem to do well than just say like a solid plain plain bag which I actually do have this purse same exact one in solid black that I got at Goodwill and I haven't listed it yet I was actually debating on keeping that one but if this one sells then I may um, go ahead and list the other one as well. This guy here I saw um, one of the last times I was in Goodwill. It was in the Christmas section and I had looked at it and then got sidetracked and never looked it up or anything like that. And then I think there was um, a subscriber who had mentioned about um, taking a closer look at this piece um, if it was there next time I was in. And I did. It was still there and I was like, okay, I'm going to look this up and see, um, you know, what what it's worth kind of thing. And when I did, um, it definitely looked like um, someone had sold one before in like the upper... $20 range, I believe. I paid, how much was this? This was um, $3.99. It's really pretty. It's called Royal Irish Crystal and it is a votive candle holder on a brass stand. Um, so it looks exactly like that in the picture. Um, the votive part was still wrapped in um, its uh, packaging and to be in really nice condition and it's super pretty so listen to that and see see how it goes all right next thing I got was a pair of panties these are vintage Jacqueline Smith kind of shapewear panties they're called the waist nipper brief so they have corset boning they're high-waisted corset boning um, as well as like a corset like hook and eye closure down the front so, um, you know, they're made to flatten your stomach and make your waistline seem um, slimmer. And these were in a nice size. These are a size 2X, new with tag. When I looked these up, um, they're listed very high, like between 50 and 60 on the low end of like close to 50 of the $40 range. Um, I'm pretty sure I did a buy it now with mine um and i kind of like went in the middle price point i think i listed mine at 49.99 um, and like i said other people had similar ones new with tag as well but different size in the 50 to 60 dollar range um i didn't see any of this size in sold or anything like that so um it's hard to say you know if mine will sell if it'll sell at the price that i have it currently listed at or not but vintage panties, some of them can go for a lot of money. Um, I don't know exactly why. Um, sometimes I think it's because, like, um, some people just like to dress in eras of 
you know what they like like some people really like to dress in like 60s style clothing or like retro rockabilly style clothing and wear you know outfits but also undergarments that kind of go along with the era type thing so you know there's reasonings behind everything people buy um so but definitely something to to you know if you are looking um just go on eBay right now and type in vintage underwear, go to completeds, go to solds and see, you know, what's selling and for how much that way, next time you go out, you know, more of a better idea of like brands to look for and styles and things like that. Um, but there is definitely a market for vintage underwear, surprisingly. Though I say surprisingly about a lot of things that are listed on eBay. Surprisingly, someone will buy it. Alright, so the last thing I got was this really heavy guy right here. This is a Cuisinart Dutch oven. So this is enamel, blue enamel over cast iron. It's really nice. It's in great shape. It's a five quart um, Dutch oven. This uh, Goodwill had priced at $9.99. $9.99 dinner served. Um, anyway, <laughs> these uh, Dutch ovens are typically like $99 brand new. So I thought $10 was still a good deal at Goodwill. Um, this here, I think I posted up as an auction because there's not currently any listed in this collar. So I thought maybe... Potentially the blue is more desirable though, you know, I don't know for sure or anything like that um, But like I said, yeah, nine dollars and ninety nine cents for this I got so excited because I had found the Le Creuset Christmas stocking so when I saw this Dutch oven, I was like, oh my gosh like I just in my head I was thinking like maybe that is one uh, but <laughs> it was a uh, Cuisinart, but even still um, cast iron pieces, uh, Dutch ovens specifically, um, seem to sell really well. So to get this for 10 and potentially sell for, you know, more than that, I forget what I listed this specific one at. I'm horrible with remembering things like that. I write down the prices of what I paid, but I don't write down the prices of what I started my auctions or my buy it nows. But like I said, all of the links are down in the description box if you're curious to see, um, you know, what I price things at. Um, typically, if something doesn't sell, like, I let things sit for a while. I don't have a problem letting things just sit for a while until they sell. Um, but if I have watchers on things, I sometimes go back through and send out offers of cheaper prices and stuff like that. Or I'll come down on prices depending on how long something has been sitting just to kind of get it out of the way and make room for, you know, new items and things like that. So, um, that is everything from, um, this episode of Goodwill Haul. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. You'll have to let me know, um, what you thought down in the comments. And yeah, this, it's so exciting and like, so kind of like a relief. Like after I'm done filming this video, I can take all of my stuff down to my inventory and set it there because it's already listed. So I don't have to do anything with it. And it's just such a relief. I love that and hope I can continue to have my hauls um, all listed before I even do my filming because it's just making me feel really accomplished. And on the topic of feeling accomplished, I have been trying to get to a thousand listings for a while now and then I, I was so close and then I kept like selling stuff, which I mean, <laughs> that's not, that's not something to, to um, be upset about, but um, it was keeping me from getting to a thousand listings and the other day I hit a thousand listings. I'm actually above a thousand listings now. Um, not, not a huge amount above a thousand listings, but um, we're getting there. I want to have way, way more things listed so I can get more stuff sold. So I'm excited. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.